<clears throat> All right, shalom, shalom to the elect of the nation of Israel. All praises and glory is due to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. Baal Shem, Yahweh Shai, Baal Shem, And once again, it's another video. I'm out here with my cycle. Doing my thing, baby. Yeah. Anyway, I'm going to call this video, They Are Not the Watchmen of the House of Israel. Now, what am I talking about? I'm talking about the scripture in Ezekiel, the third, the third chapter, the 17th verse, where the Lord said, the heavenly father, Yahweh, he said, I have made, son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. And that's talking about us, the apostles, the prophets, the true apostles, because you got false ones, the true teachers, because you got false ones, uh, the true prophets, because you got false ones. The true apostles, prophets, and teachers. They're the watchmen, the true watchmen of the house of Israel. And they're consistently watching. Okay? They're what the, what the Bible calls, um, uh, they're what the Bible calls, uh, the word kind of escapes me right now. But uh, one word that comes to mind is sentinels. Okay? A sentinel and someone can look that word up and uh, put it in the comment section okay anyway um, the title of this video is they are not the true watchmen now I'm talking about these phony baloney Israelite groups out there outside of uh, Great Millstone and our true affiliates how do we know they're not the watchmen well uh, first and foremost, you got a group like the IUIC that's totally going off, beginning with their leader, Bishop Nathaniel, and the nonsense that he's teaching as of late, saying that uh, in the past we never really dealt with the Heavenly Father. We always dealt with Yahweh Shah. He says Christ. According to him, we always dealt with Christ, which that's not the true name of the only begotten Son of the Heavenly Father. His true name is Yahweh Shai. Also saying that um, that we don't have the true name of the Heavenly Father and His Son, which is a bullshit lie because the elect that have been chosen even before the earth was created to receive the secrets of Yahweh Bashim Shai, they have the true name of the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, the elect. We're talking about the elect, all right? So you got these other Israelite groups Hey, you got this leader of the IUIC teaching this bullshit, and the only group that's really getting on them is GMS and our true affiliates. That's one example that shows you that we are the true watchmen of the house of Israel. Not only are we watching ourselves, you know, uh, as it is written, the Apostle Paul told us to examine ourselves and trust that we be in the faith and trust that we are not reprobates so we watch ourselves hey great millstone we get on our own selves so we're not partial we don't show any partiality we don't show any hypocrisy because because we get on our own selves okay you better believe i'm doing this video if i'm teaching a doctrine that's totally incorrect i'm going to change it and, I, and and someone alerts me to that i'm going to change it quick fast in a hurry because i don't want the wrath of yahweh bashim yahushai to come down on me man I'm trying to kiss the sun as it is written, okay? But you got these, like I said, you got these other Israelite groups that are more into money and fame than into correcting other Israelite groups that go off, like this IUIC group. So guess what? They're not the true watchmen of the house of Israel. They're not the true watchmen. Because uh, the apostle Paul told Timothy, now Timothy's position, he was a bishop he was a bishop at the church at, located at Ephesus, which is known as Turkey today. And the Apostle Paul, uh, being that Timothy had that high position, the Apostle Paul wrote him letters. That's what 1 Timothy and 2 Timothy is all about. Okay? So in those letters, the Apostle Paul instructed Timothy how to behave in the church. And one of the things he told Timothy was, 
to reprove and rebuke anyone that's going off, anyone that's teaching a false doctrine, to reprove and rebuke them. That's what the Apostle Paul said in his letters to Timothy. So that stands true to this very day. We that got the truth, the 100% truth, we say Great Millstone, we say we got 100% truth, right? Well, our job is to reprove and rebuke. And we seem to be the only group that does that. You know why? Because reproving and rebuking is not a popular job. These, most of these Israelite groups, right? These different Israelite groups, they got a policy, go along to get along. They're not gonna talk bad about any other group except Great Millstone. They'll talk bad about us because we're the, according to them, we're the worst group in Israel. And we take, we take that badge, we wear that badge proudly, okay? We wear that badge proudly, yeah. You can call us the worst group in Israel, all right? Yeah, that's what you would say about Yahweh Shai. If Yahweh Shai was on the earth teaching this word, you would say that about him. Because we know that Yahweh Shai was more hated than he was loved. As, as it is written, uh, they hate of him that rebuketh in the gate. Okay? So if you if you speak in truth, right? If you speak in 100% truth, you're going to be hated. And we speak 100% truth. You're not going to be beloved. This world is not into the truth. They're into lies. Even in this Israelite thing of ours. What do you think Isaiah 30 and 10 is all about? Which say to the prophets, prophesy lies unto us. Prophesy smooth things. Prophesy deceits. That's what most of you Israelites are into. Lies and deceits. You don't want the truth. Only a very few of you want the truth. That's why the scriptures speak about the elect, right? Uh, few that be that be saved. That's why they're called the remnant. Because most of you Israelites, you don't want the truth. You don't want the 100% truth. You want smooth shit. You want gimmicks, okay? You want, like uh, the IUIC guy said, you want visual, visual effects. That's what you want, all that bullshit. But like the Bible says, the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth, you don't want that. You don't want that. That's not what you want. You want to be entertained. Most of you Israelites out there, there we go. Most of you Israelites out there, you want to be entertained, man. You don't want the truth. That's why a lot of you, well, judgment is going to start where? It's going to start with those that know that they're Israelites. That's where it's going to start. Okay? And that's why most of you are going to receive that judgment. 1 Peter 4 and 17 backs that up. Okay? But going back to the title of my video, we are the true watchmen of the house of Israel. Okay? That's who we are. We're the true watchmen of the house of Israel. That's why we reprove and rebuke. Now, it's, now, you unlearned Israelites, you, you say that we hate the other groups. Uh, you hate your brother. First of all, they're not our brother. If you're not teaching the 100% truth, you're not our brother, all right? It's like that. If you're not teaching the 100% truth or not striving, as it is written, strive for the masteries, right? The mastery is teaching the 100% truth. How about that? That's the mastery. If you're not striving for the mastery, if you're not teaching the 100% truth, you ain't our brother. So don't come up with that brother shit. Because you, you're going to get a rude awakening, all right? Because we're, we're the group that give it to you raw, man. Raw to the door, baby. Okay? That's how Yahweh Shai would give it to you. The Bible calls Yahweh Shai an austere man. That's what it calls him, an austere man. Look up the word austere. Somebody put that in the comment section. Okay? The definition. Well, that's us. Begin with Elder Pastel on down. That's us. We fit that mold. All right? And there's a lot of fucking hypocrites in this Israelite thing of ours. And like I said in my last video, I, I for one, I'm, ty I'm tired of the bullshit, man. If you come with that slick shit, that hypocrisy shit, don't come my way, man. Don't come my way, okay? Because you may not like what you see <laughs> and hear, all right? Don't come my way with that bullshit, man. Either you speak 100% truth or get the hell out of my face. It's like that, man. We're too close to the end. Okay? That's how I'm going to be. Straightforward, man, like my father. All right? That's why my father, I noticed when I was growing up with my father, the little time I spent with him, he didn't have many friends. Matter of fact, the village where he lived in St. Lucia, he only had one friend. Because he's so straightforward. Now I know why. Because a lot of people are full of shit, man. And it's the same thing in, in, in uh, Israel. Either you come straight or don't come at all, man. A lot of you Israelites, uh, lot of you Israelites <laughs> like the saying goes, you be crab walking. You ever watch a crab walk? It walks sideways. 
you be coming with that sideways walk. All right? I got, I got mad respect for the brother that's 100% true. That's 100% straight up, man. And a lot of you Israelite, working my way back to my title of my video, a lot of you Israelite groups out there, you full of shit, man. You ain't no watchman of, of the uh, house of Israel. All you, all you into this thing for is money and fame. That's it. We, we peep your game, man. We peep your style. All you into is money and fame. You take this truth, another man's goods, all right? You take another man's goods, which, which is this truth, and, and what do you do? What do you do? You turn it into a house of merchandise, something that piss the Heavenly Father's Son off tremendously, and it's written in Scripture. How do, what do I mean you take it, you make it into a house of merchandise? Well, there's your website. You're selling everything that ain't fucking nailed down. Instead of having faith that if you teach the gospel, you will be fed by the gospel. That's what the scriptures say. How about Shimei Shai? The people that you teach, how about Shimei Shai going to put the spirit on them to take care of you? And furthermore, we're not supposed to be living rich. We're supposed to have a daily bread. That's what Yahweh Shai said in, in the Our Father prayer. He taught us, give us this day our daily bread. Okay, so you're going to have money just enough for the day, just enough to get by. Like the song says, what's the rapper? The rapper Talib Kwali. Okay, he be watching us. Talib Kwali, I think he comes out of Brooklyn. All right? He had that song, Just To Get By, one of my favorites. Well, that's what all we're going to get in this society. This ain't our kingdom. Have you not read the scripture? Arise and depart, for this is not your rest. A lot of you Israelites, you want to rest right here. You think, like the IUIC, you think that your kingdom is here. All right? You got videos showing the marriage of this guy and the marriage of that sister and all that bullshit, all that superfluous bullshit. Wait when all hell breaks loose. Wait when Esau makes that chip mandatory, man. Now we're going to see, now that's, that's when the fun is going to begin. Because now we're going to see who's the real Israelite and who's the fucking Fugazi. Who's the fucking phony. Now we're going to see, like Elder Pastor calls it, the, the big game changer when they make this chip mandatory. And then, you, as it is written, then you're going to know that a prophet was among you. Because we've been telling you that ever since we came on YouTube. What the mark of the beast is. You got Israelites playing games with that prophecy. All the game playing is coming to an end, man. And like I said, I'm going to say it again. If you're a full of shit brother or full of shit sister, don't step to me, man. Don't come my way, man. Don't even touch me inside joke. Got to roll with that. All right? That's how I feel now, man. That's how I feel. I'm alone in any fucking way. You hear me? I'm a, You see? Look, I'm out here by myself, baby. That's right. Okay? And I see why I'm a loner, because a lot of people are full of shit. I only have a very few, few, few friends. People that I know really got my back, okay? <laughs> yeah, man. Anyway, that's pretty much it. That's all I got to say. We're the true watchmen of the house of Israel. All praises to you, how about Shimei Shai for making this so, for putting that spirit on us, okay? Because you got a lot of these different Israelite groups all right, outside of Great Millstone and our affiliates, I dare say they're all full of shit, man. Do you learn some truths from them? Absolutely. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. But you don't learn the 100% truth. And if you ain't got 100% truth, really you ain't got nothing, man. You're supposed to have 100% truth. Ask yourself this question. Did Yahweh Shai have 100% truth? Yes or no? He had 100% truth. He has 100% truth. Now it is written, Yahweh Shai told his disciples, Lo, I am with you even to the ends of the world. So he's with us in spirit. So God damn it, we're going to have 100% truth. Because the spirit of Yahweh Shai is rolling with us, man. And you got to believe that. A lot of you Israelites, a lot of these other Israelites, they ain't got no faith, man. When I say other Israelites, I'm talking about these other groups. They ain't got no real faith. As, as it is written, oh, faithless generation. But you know what? The big, cha the big game changer is coming when they make that chip mandatory. Now we're gonna see who has faith, rock solid faith, who really believes in these scriptures, huh? Who really believes in these scriptures. Now we're gonna know who really believes in the scriptures and who's a fucking Fugazi, okay? That's right. Anyway, I'm gonna end it there, all right? Got a little stuff off my chest, okay? Hey man, the scriptures say we are men chafed in the spirit, man. Like King David and his men. As they were laboring to build the kingdom, there were men chafed in the spirit. Somebody put the definition of chafe 
in the comment section. Okay? Well, that's us. Begin to fell the pus towering down, man. We've given up. You think we're full of shit, man? You think a person has given up his life, everything, for this gospel? You think that person is full of shit? <laughs> you better think again, man. That person has what is called tunnel vision, baby. Single eye, like Yahweh Shai told us. If your eye be single, your whole body is full of light. Begin with Felder Pasta on down, our eye is single. We only concentrate on one thing, and that is to push this truth and to brace for the, for the coming of terror upon the planet Earth. That's all we think about, day and motherfucking night, okay? Now these other Israelite groups, what the fuck are they thinking about? They sure ain't got tunnel vision. They sure don't have a single eye. Their eyes every which away. They don't know if they want to be rappers. They don't know if they want to be uh, prophets. <laughs> they don't know if they want to be entrepreneurs or businessmen. When the business you should be taking care of is Yahweh Bashim Shai's business. Like Yahweh Shai told his mother, don't you know I'm about my father's business? That's the business you should be taking care of. The business of the 100% truth. And going out there and teaching it. And bracing for the coming of the destruction of this society and the coming of our Lord, Yahweh Shai, and, and his kingdom upon the planet Earth. That's what you should be concentrating on. Anyway, that's my message. If you were uh, edified by it, drop a line in the comment section, all right? But if not, hey, I don't know what to tell you, but get the fuck off my channel. <laughs> How about that? Okay? So with that, next one.